concentration can be expressed in different ways – molarity, mass concentration or percentage. Molarity refers to number of molecules per unit volume. One litter solution containing one mole of a reagent, that is 6 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules, is referred to as one molar solution. Importantly, concentration is independent of the actual volume. One liter, a milliliter or a microliter of the one molar solution would have different total number of particles, but the same density of molecules per unit volume. Therefore, equimolar solutions, that is solutions with equal molar concentration of reagents, have the same number of molecules per unit volume. For example, 10 micromolar tris, 10 micromolar salt and 10 micromolar glucose solutions have equal number of tris, sodium, chloride and glucose molecules in 1 liter or in 1 milliliter. As chemical and enzymatic reactions follow exact stoichiometry, molarity is a natural way of expressing concentration of the reagents. Notice that when we refer to the amount of substance, number of moles, we write mole. When we talk about molar concentration or molarity, we use capital M and the corresponding prefixes. For example, one molar solution refers to one mole or 1000 millimole of a reagent per liter. One millimolar solution corresponds to one millimole or 1000 micromole per liter, and so on. You should remember the following prefixes in their decimal quotients, as they are often used in the lab. Thus, milli is one thousandth part of a whole, micro is one millionth, nano is three orders of magnitude less than micro. There is also pico and femto, they all differ by a factor of one thousand. In the molecular biology and biochemical labs, we also often use mass concentration, that is, the mass of substance per unit volume. Mass concentration is used when the exact molar concentration is irrelevant. For example, we know that 50 microgram per milliliter of the antibiotic ampicillin is sufficient to prevent growth of bacteria which do not carry the corresponding resistance gene. 50 microgram per milliliter corresponds roughly to 143 micromolar concentration. But for preparing a stock solution, the molarity is less useful than mass concentration. We also use mass concentration when the molecular weight of the substance is unknown or too large. For example, the exact molecular weight of protein or DNA molecules depends on the exact sequence and varies from thousands to millions of thousands. It is therefore easier to express protein and DNA concentration as mass per unit volume. Remember that mass concentration refers to weight of a substance in the indicated volume. That is, a concentration of 10 mg per mL means that every milliliter contains 10 mg of a substance. Therefore, 10 mg per milliliter, 10 micrograms per microliter or 10 grams per liter all refer to exactly the same concentration. Finally, concentration is sometimes expressed as mass or volume percentage. By convention, mass percentage, expressed in grams of substance per 100 ml solution, is used for powdered chemicals. For example, 10% SDS solution refers to 10 gram SDS powder per 100 ml. Volume percentage expressed in milliliters of substance per 100 ml solution is used for liquid chemicals. Thus, 70% ethanol refers to 70 ml alcohol per 100 ml total volume. Percentage concentrations are mostly used for convenience or historic reasons. Importantly, you can easily transform between various ways of expressing concentrations. For example, 20 mass percent SDS refers to 20 gram SDS powder per 100 milliliters or 200 grams SDS per liter. As we know the molecular weight of SDS, 
that is 288.4 grams per mole, we could easily calculate its molarity. 200 grams divided by 288.4 gram per mole will yield approximately 700 millimolar solution. So, you can now see that concentration of a reagent can be expressed as molarity, mass per volume or mass or volume percentage. Molarity is a universal way of expressing concentration, but others could be used for convenience. If you know the molecular weight of a chemical, you can easily transform mass concentration or percentage into molarity and back.